Before watching the video don't forget to subscribe, like and turn on the bell, it motivates me a lot and helps me to release new videos faster. After work, a tired Akira Tendu watches TV, where they were showing a film about a zombie apocalypse, Akira compares his life with the film. At 4am, the tormented Akira falls asleep and has a dream where he first got a job. Then Akira, who came for the first time, saw paradise in it. Sayori Yutori bumps into the joyful Akira and drops the papers, helping the girl, Akira falls in love with her at first sight. Sayori explained what was happening and left. After work, all the employees gather at the bar and celebrate Akira's arrival. Asking about his life, the others appreciate him for the mastery of rugby he played. Akira notices Sayori opposite her and admires her. After the feast, suddenly everyone changes their mood and pulls out their badges, but very quickly appears in the office again. Everyone worked tirelessly, not paying attention to the rest, Akira sat in shock, and only two days later, he was allowed to go home. Arriving home, Akira immediately passes out and forgets about everything. After sleeping a little, the alarm immediately goes off, and without spoiling his mood, Akira energetically goes to work, like a real athlete. Every time he comes to work, he is greeted by very exhausted employees, who have not slept for several days. He's also meet a very formidable boss, who every time loses his temper at everyone. Akira joins the distraught employees. The only one who raised Akira's spirit was Sayori who took care of him. The president of company calls Sayori to his office where he seduced her. Akira, who sees this, falls into prostration and depression and cannot decide to quit his job. It's been three years, Akira is still giving it her all and continues to take full responsibility for himself. Under the boss's screams, Akira completely breaks down. Something strange is happening on the street, Akira came home, again watched TV and ate, from fatigue Akira faints again. Exhausted the morning before leaving, he notices a receipt for non-payment of a parking space, so he first goes to the tenant to give the money. Having knocked on his door, no one answers, Akira notices a slightly open door, behind which there was a zombie devouring the lodger. In complete confusion, he cannot understand whether this is a dream, but a zombie is already attacking him and runs away in fear. Akira comes across other zombies, from which he very cleverly runs away, bumping into other obstacles. Because of the incidents, Akira has all the colors of life back, and his only joy is that he won't have to go to work. Excited, Akira takes time to think about how he will spend his time outside of work. It is at such a time that Akira wants to go confess his love to Sayori. Akira rides a bike, passing zombies. The city is in complete devastation. And now standing at the door, Akira very hesitantly rings her doorbell, where no one answers. Akira opens the door where the already infected boss stood. Finally, the guy talks about leaving his job, apologizing to his boss. Akira throws him down. The infected Sayori turns to Akira. Akira confesses his love to her in tears and runs away in despair. At night, the guy has all the possibilities and he wants to do everything in freedom, as he dreamed. Akira wakes up when he sees memories of work. In a good mood, the guy screams from the bottom of his heart, and in three years he cleans the apartment for the first time. Finally, the guy sees a sparkling clean apartment that he couldn't clean. Akira reaches for the soda. Today he plans to sit back and indulge all day. Akira is incredibly happy after drinking his first can in three years. The hosts broadcast the chaos in the city while Akira drinks soda enjoying life. He doesn't really care about the situation in the world, so he goes to get the next can. Having opened the refrigerator, the guy is very horrified, there is no longer the treasured drink left in the refrigerator. The guy will have to go to the store, which was not part of his plans. While climbing down the pipe, he awkwardly locks eyes with his neighbor, Mikio Kusaka. His wife Sumire comes to hear the noise, and she is also horrified. It turns out that zombies do not allow passage for Akira, the neighbors meet for the first time. Akira offers them to take food for them, which they do not refuse. Arriving at the store, the joyful Akira is broadcast by the camera. Inside the store, Akira meets Shizuka Mikazuki who has also come for food. Taking out the drinks, the girl does not pay attention to the guy and leaves. But suddenly she notices something is wrong through the camera and stops to refuse Akira to change contacts because of his frivolity. The zombies entering the store frighten the guy and he wants to protect the girl. But she herself saves him from an approaching truck which crashes into a zombie. The girl leaves the guy lying in shock. Due to an accident, Akira's bicycle breaks down, but he notices a scooter that he is already riding on. Along the way, the guy sees a sports bike on which he will continue his journey. On the way home, Akira calls for Kusaka but notices that his apartment is all destroyed. Akira washes away her grief and thinks about life. Before becoming a zombie, the guy writes down 100 wishes that he would like to fulfill. The guy writes down only 35 wishes, hoping to at least fulfill them. 
Shizuka starts the day with sports and gathering information about the world through the news. Shizuka is a very careful and attentive girl, she tries to learn about safe places and about escape and also makes goals for herself so as not to go crazy. After watching the movie, she identifies the zombies that are outside. The girl comes to the store where she installs a camera near it and takes the most necessary things from it, restraining herself in front of the sweets. The girl hears a joyful Akira outside and becomes wary. They get closer when the girl notices that he is just a frivolous and not a strategic person, letting him pass. Shizuka hears the horn of a truck speeding towards them. The girl tries to talk the guy into not harming himself, but in the end he tries to protect her from the zombies and she, on the contrary, saves him from the truck. Shizuka leaves the store. While replenishing her supplies, Shizuka looks back at the footage where she saw Akira. Who would have thought that Soda would be the source of happiness, even at such a moment? Shu comes to the tearful girl to calm her down. The superstar decided to make a hideout out of his real estate. He and his employees go to deal with the zombies that have come to the building. Having lost several, the guys fight on. Akira rides a motorcycle to check out the Shinjuku area. A few hours later, the guy thinks about how best to shave after several options. He doesn't like anything and decides to shave all while fulfilling one of his goals. Akira notices that notifications are coming to his phone. The guy is happy about the return to the internet. He thinks for a long time about who to call and in the end, settles on his best friend. Tired Kencho closes himself indoors along with the zombies. Having spent all his strength and hope for life, the guy loses consciousness, he dreams of his times with Akira where they played rugby and misses his uni years. Suddenly Kencho wakes up hearing the phone beep. The guy is very surprised when Akira calls him. Kencho can't understand why Akira is so cheerful at such a time. In the end, Akira is going to visit a friend at such a crazy time. Akira was already racing on a motorcycle to his friend, remembering the moments of friendship with Kencho. Kencho had a successful life, which Akira envied, being exhausted from his life. Every time Kencho tried to persuade the guy to quit his job, but he always refused. Kencho called him a fool, which angered the guy, and Kencho's pride also angered him, so they saw their argument as a toast. Having lost his partners, Shu looked in despair as zombies were coming at him. He resigns himself, but suddenly, the zombies were distracted by the horn of a car. All the zombies run to the car, which was left by Akira, who was sitting in the fountain at that moment. The car explodes along with the zombies. Kencho reacts to the sound and notices that the zombie is no longer in the building. On his way out, he hears sounds behind him and panics, being frightened by Akira. He can't believe that Akira actually came to him. Akira thanks him for the advice he gave him. Suddenly, zombies come running in response to Akira's screams. The guys run in fear to the landing, where they climb to the roof. The guys are blocking the entrance against zombies. Desperate Kencho asks Akira what they should do next. Akira points to a nearby building that he is about to jump onto. Kencho is not confident in him, but he is already running and jumping onto a nearby building. Akira calls him, but Kencho is not confident in himself, so he decides to admit how much he did not like his job. Every time he worked he deceived people and Akira, who admired him, was proud of it. He is very ashamed and apologizes to Akira. Akira forgives him and continues to consider him the funniest person. In fact, Kencho wanted to become a stand-up comedian. Akira says to stop crying and jump towards him. Finally at the last moment, he jumps to the guy and in flight, strips naked, making the guy laugh, but Kencho does not jump and at the last moment, he is saved by Akira. At night on the roof the guys drink soda and talk to each other about life. Kencho admires his friend for today and says that Akira will be the one who will find a cure for zombies, the guy laughs at this. While Kencho was preparing a delicious lunch, Akira was playing games. The guys settle down well on the roof while fulfilling one more wish. Akira tries Kencho's lunch and admires his cooking. Kencho teases the guy saying that he didn't have a girlfriend because he couldn't cook. Akira promised that he would find a girlfriend today. Kencho wishes him good luck. Kencho notices Akira's wish list notebook and he wants to write down his wishes on Akira's list. Akira supports him and they go to an electronics store to buy a new TV. Along the way, Kencho reads how to become a real comedian and is horrified that he needs to study for this. Lost in thought, he almost crashes into chaos on the road. From behind, they see a fuel tanker rushing towards them. Akira notices the subway and only at the last moment, rushes towards it. The fuel truck skids and it explodes, the guys drive away from the blast wave. On the road, a crowd of zombies block the passage for the guys, they have to break into the hypermarket, where three girls and one man were not very friendly waiting for them. Each girl is worried about what is happening, Kencho calms them down. The girls console themselves with drinks and offer the guys the same. The guys notice that there is a group date going on. Kencho introduces himself and tries to meet a man who is unwell. Maki, Rieka and Yukari also introduce themselves 
and it turns out they are flight attendants who flew in from Los Angeles. The guys are very surprised since this was Akira's desire, which seemed impossible. Zombies are breaking down the doors. Ryuka leaves, and Akira thinks about how to keep the conversation going. Not knowing what to say, he asks Yukari about her boyfriend, which sounded very strange. While Akira was thinking about what to say next, Kencho was already flirting with Maki with all his might, this hurt Akira. To attract the girl's attention, Akira starts drinking the drink through his nose, which also seemed strange at first, but nevertheless he manages to cheer everyone up. Akira is unwell after drinking a drink, Yukari comes to console him, and the guy thinks that she is trying to flirt with him. The man, who was with them was bitten by a zombie and after a while, completely turned into a zombie, and he infects Ryuka. Maki and Kencho pay attention to her scream. Yukari was simply worried about Akira, so she came to him telling him that she had a boyfriend. Maki and Kencho come to Ryuka and see that she is infected. Ryuka attacks them and Kencho dodges, but she infects Maki. Attacking Ryuka, Kaiko defeats her with a suitcase and notices that the man has disappeared somewhere. Yukari and Akira were talking alone. Yukari talked about her work and its disadvantages which had nothing like that. Akira supports her and talks about her unhappy job. Akira asks if this was her dream, to which the girl manages to answer yes, before the same man bites her. Akira hits the zombie and notices the bite marks. Before the transformation, the girl shares her memories and feelings for the last time. The girl, who is attacked by zombies again, says goodbye to Akira. Akira runs away crying and meets Kaiko, who is being chased by the infected Maki. They take the huge TV and quickly go home. Akira grants one more wish. The depressed Akira has a desire to remember his dream and he cheers up. Akira had a dream where as a child, he wanted to become a superhero. Kencho checked the news where they wrote about safe places. He immediately proclaims this to Akira and he hopes that his family is still alive. Kencho decides to go blonde, seeing it as a change in his daily routine, following in Akira's footsteps. Akira at this moment proclaimed that he wanted to become a superhero. Akira tells how as a child, he admired them and following the fulfillment of his desire, he wants to make his dream come true. But Kencho says that he won't be able to fly or anything like that, but Akira showed him something that will literally be a defense against zombies. The guys arrive at the aquarium. The bus with the survivors stops, the conductor says that they will have to wait. People are completely terrified. And suddenly the most terrible thing happens, an infected person appears on the bus and bites a woman, people who saw this run out of the bus in panic, being attacked by zombies. The only one who survives, Kumiko, runs to escape to the aquarium, but she stumbles, it would seem that there is no hope, but at the very last moment Akira knocks down the zombies that were attacking Kumiko. Akira is wearing a shark suit, which protects him from zombie bites. Akira sees the remaining survivors and directs them to the aquarium, among the survivors he notices Shizuka. It seems fate brought them together. Akira is attacked by a zombie, even though he is in a suit, but the pain from the bites will not go away, several more zombies overwhelm him. He thinks about Shizuka. Akira returns to Kencho, seeing Shizuka he decides to approach her to talk, but the girl forgets who is in front of her. Akira reminds her of their meeting and she remembers him. She decides to overwhelm him with all sorts of logical terms so as not to share the contact. Everyone hears a scary noise, Akira and Kencho decide to go check it out. From a cracked aquarium, the guys notice a zombie shark that walked on human legs, they run away from it in complete horror, attracting survivors with them. Having run to the main entrance, everyone sees zombies who have blocked their way, and a shark flies out of the wall and has eaten all the zombies. Shizuka notices another exit, and directs the others there. Completely terrified, Kumiko grabs hold of Shizuka and leaves her behind, running for cover. Akira and Kencho notice the missing girl. Kencho tries to open the boarded up door and does not notice Akira disappearing. Akira comes to the girl's aid, who rides the shark, throwing the guy off. Shizuka doesn't understand why he came. Akira interprets superhero speeches to her. The guy doesn't have a plan, but Shizuka is ready to help him while they escape from the shark. Shizuka talks about a plan where Akira will have to buy time. Kencho watches what is happening with the desire to help his friend. Akira diligently buys time while Shizuka searches for an electric object with which they will defeat the shark by depriving it of its senses. Akira is knocked down by a shark. Kencho very strangely attracts the shark's attention to help his helpless friend. Gathering his strength, Akira gets up and runs to catch the batteries that Shizuka threw to him. The guy hits the shark, generating its senses, they overpower the shark. While walking, Akira ends with one more wish. Shizuka tags along, and Akira again asks for her contact, but she refuses again, Kencho gives him advice. Shizuka confronts Akira about her negative opinion of them, but Akira says something that makes Shizuka blush. Before leaving, the girl finally shares her contact, but does not hope to meet Akira again. The guys decide to leave Tokyo and head to Akira's parents. The guys arrives into a jewelry store, 
where they pick up expensive accessories and take pictures. Akira grants one more wish. The guys are running out of water. Kencho understands that the internet and communications are no longer working. They need to come to their senses as the situation is heating up. Akira notices a beautiful view of the sky, which makes the guy remember his family. Kencho consoles him. In the morning, the guys are getting ready to leave Tokyo. Akira says goodbye to his home. The guys are already on their way on a motorcycle. It takes about three hours to get to Akira's parents. Before leaving, Akira really wants to get a motor home. He can't wait and rushes to look for his cherished desire. The guys come to a car show where they again meet Shizuka completely by chance. Akira again invites Shizuka to join them, but she again refuses. She also came to buy a mobile home. The guys are increasingly hinting at going with them, which is why the girl could no longer refuse. Akira and Kencho admire cars, there are so many of them and they are all so different. Shizuka thinks logically about which one will be better. The guys settle on not the best option, which is why an argument began between them. Kencho and Akira want a dream car, hinting at this, Shizuka notices an imported car that leaves her speechless, the guys make her embarrassed. Because of their loud argument, zombies came and were already close to the guys, they got into the first car they came across and left. The guys are driving along an idle highway. Shizuka says that the apocalypse is all to blame for the virus, and this virus can be overcome in several ways, such as how to create a vaccine. It's already evening, the guys want to stop somewhere for dinner and spend the night, but they don't notice how there were spikes on the road, which is why the accident occurs. Kencho flies off the motorcycle, in front of Akira three buses block their path, where Akira's boss and the baseball team were. Akira feels a strange sensation inside of her while talking to Gonzu. Surprisingly, his boss wants to help his former subordinate, but only in return, Akira must become his subordinate again. Shizuka despises and blames the boss for everything, he makes every excuse that he didn't arrange anything. Due to a hopeless situation, when zombies notice the guys, Akira decides to work for the boss again, suspecting nothing. Gonzu Kasugi brings Akira to his established area, where the others were already working for him. Shizuka heals Kencho, who made Akira decide to work. Akira delivers the load and notices others working non-stop. Akira decides to cool the soda to help others in the heat, but Kasugi comes and despises Akira for his actions, calling all his people worthless. But the guys from the baseball club suddenly walk in on them, noticing the soda they praise the boss, he changes his mood. Akira notices how zombies are pulling a truck. Kasugi calls it enslavement and sees the zombies as employees because they do not have their own will, like Akira. Kasugi is terribly angry with his people and despises them. Kencho does not understand why Akira obeys his boss so much, Shizuka, Influenced by memories, understands a guy who still lives in fear. Kasugi throws a party for Akira and at the same time hires him to deliver snacks. No one respects him, even though it is his holiday. The impudent Kasugi invites Shizuka to have fun with him. She acts on his orders and sympathizes to the man. Once again, Akira brings him a drink, but it's already an empty bottle, which is why a scandal began of the boss's actions. Shizuka began to remember the past. Her father was a big fish in the financier field, so her father forced Shizuka to be a daughter to suppress him. Whenever Shizuka was interested in something, according to her father, she had to pursue the maximum of her interests. Akira again screws up at work in front of his boss, again despising him. He manipulates him into getting confused in his feelings in order to stay with him. Watching them, Shizuka remembers the past again. In the evening, Shizuka accidentally knocks over Akira's backpack, where his wish list falls out. After looking at his notes, she decides to write down her own. Baseball players load a truck containing a zombie. Two days pass, Kencho is recovering and according to the agreement, the guys must leave today. Akira is depressed and says that she wants to stay and work for her boss. Kencho can't believe his words, but Shizuka leaves the guy and plans to go without him. Akira means that he must repay all the boss's care. Shizuka, hearing the demand again, does not hold back and gets angry at Akira. Before leaving, the girl wants to convince Akira, raising words of pride to help him. She does not want the guy to become like her in the past. After a short conversation, Shizuka gives Akira his wish list to cheer him up. Kasuki notices this and snatches the notepad from the guy and throws it on the ground. Preparing to trample him, Akira does not allow his dreams to be trampled. Finally Akira sends his boss, fulfilling Shizuka's wish. The same truck with the baseball player arrives. Having opened the doors, the zombie immediately bites the guy, and the driver in a panic releases the zombie into the wild by crashing into the cables. Chaos ensues as the guys climb onto the trucks, watching as Kasugi desperately runs away from the zombies. Out of pity, Akira comes up with a way to save the boss. Akira knocks down a crowd of zombies, helping the boss climb onto the truck. Akira signals the other drivers to surround the zombies with trucks. 
Having collected them in a heap, Akira prepares to blow up the truck and jumps from it along with the boss. The plan worked, everyone praises Akira for his work, and they gradually leave Kasugi. Kasugi burns out, and everyone ignores his tears. Driving further into Gunma, Akira and Shizuka sweetly discuss the demands of work at this hour. They start to get along. They finally arrive at Gunma. 8th episode, Akira, Kencho and Shizuka arrive in Gunma and do yoga on a surfboard, thus fulfilling another wish. There is an hour's drive left to get to Akira's parents, the guys notice a crowd of zombies surrounding a truck that flew off the road. The guys are interested, and Akira puts on his superhero costume to help a survivor. But this survivor in a Ronin costume, skillfully deals with zombies with a bow and a naginata. Under the costume was Beatrix, who was a foreigner. Beatrix really admired Japanese culture, so she chose this costume. Having learned about Japan, she worked very hard to be there, but at the hour of her arrival the apocalypse began. The girl was bringing fish for the sushi master, she really wanted to eat sushi, Akira supports her, and he also wants to eat it. Everyone was already driving to the appointed place, the guys arrived at the alley, where the very restaurant was located, but the alley was infested with zombies. Beatrix and Akira want to deal with the zombies, but without a plan. Kencho and Shizuka decide to help them. Kencho lures the zombies, and Akira blocks their path, they climb onto the roof and throw oil on the zombies, but they fail to light matches, the zombies head towards the van, where the fish was. Beatrix protects her childhood dream by fighting zombies alongside Akira. The zombies are getting bigger and the couple could no longer fight, Shizuka distracts the zombies with a quadcopter and music, this was her plan B using zombies. They stood over the fuel, Kencho sets all the zombies on fire, and the guys win. The guys enjoy their sushi to the fullest when they arrive at the restaurant. Finally, Beatrix tastes the food of her dreams, tears come to her eyes from such a taste, the cook also begins to cry because of how pleasant Beatrix is. The cook allows the guys to drink everything he has, as for the last guests. Akira grants one more wish. On the way, the guys are very hot, and they decide to go to the hot springs. Arriving there, the guys have very enticing views. Beatrix tells a lot about Japanese culture. Akira tries to get closer to Shizuka by talking about love. The guys come to the bathhouse and immediately dive into it. They have fun, but the girls have problems with the women's bathhouse, so the guys decide to get more serious. Without giving any signs, Shizuka despises them, and Beatrix talks about Japanese culture again, she doesn't see anything like that. Suddenly a lot of zombies come out of the water, the guys have to run away. Having climbed the mountain, the guys are sad. At night everyone fell asleep, but Akira felt the urge to move away, and he stumbles upon another hot spring. While swimming in it, he accidentally bumps into Shizuka bathing, they become embarrassed. Shizuka is not against Akira to take a bath. While at a distance, Shizuka talks very openly with Akira and admits that if she found a loved one, she would also talk to him. Hearing this, Akira and Shizuka are very shy. Their conversation is interrupted by Kencho and Beatrix. The guys don't have long to get to Akira's parents. Akira is afraid of meeting his father, remembering him, he almost crashes into the side of the road in a tunnel. The guys have no choice but to pick up their things and cross through the forest. On the way, Shizuka calms down Akira, but suddenly they see an elderly man running away from a zombie boar, Beatrix immediately deals with the zombie. Masaru Kumano meets the guys and takes them to the place where he builds a treehouse. Akira is the most admired and wants to help Kumano, Shizuka is not very supportive of the guy and Kencho is not against it. Kumano tells him about his work, the guys are surprised at his actions every time. While Akira was working, Kumano came to tell him about his son, Akira asks what is wrong with him now, to which the man replies, that his son was bitten by his wife and he had to eliminate them. Standing in tears, Akira wants to help him more and more and calms the man down. The company is completing the construction of the house. Everyone is having fun as best they can, Shizuka thinks that Akira will stay here for the night, but he wants to see his parents as soon as possible. The guys overcome a difficult path, because of this path, Beatrix believes that all the inhabitants are alive. The arriving guys are already standing over the village. Akira notices that the village has been destroyed, he runs in panic to the first house, he comes across. Where old people were having fun outside the door, the guys are completely shocked by what they saw. The old people recognize Akira and they call his parents. Akira finally meets them after three years. Akira apologizes and thanks his parents for everything. But his father came up to him and hit him on the head, he was not ready to hear this from his son and he left. Mom receives guests and feeds them, she tells how the survivors who tried to escape from the epidemic were captured by one of the zombies, since then that tunnel has been closed. But several of them survived, and now they live in the village. Kencho, Beatrix and Shizuka are enjoying the village, while Akira is trying to help her mother repay her for everything. But she, of course, does not mind but does not demand from her son. Dad calls Akira to help him in the garden. Akira tried his best to get his dad to talk and please him, but he didn't succeed. 
After work, Teruo notices a wound on his arm and says that he doesn't have much time left. Akira approaches him, and his father excuses himself. While they were walking, they exchanged glances with the Kanta Higurashi group, who were heading towards the zombies. Naoki tries to calm Higurashi down, but he remembers his life in the past where no one needed him. Kanta hated the world, and after the pandemic, he felt freedom. In the store, he met his gang and wanted to write about 100 wishes. The guy and his company had crazy and inadequate desires, saying that this was the last vacation in their lives. After the memories, he wants to continue the madness. Sakura doing Akira dreadlocks, fulfilling another wish. Akira gets to know Sakura, Ayumi and Najisa better. Najisa talks about her work and the story about it, because of which Najisa becomes sad. Once in the village, the girls have only one desire, it is to stay in this village. Shizuka was lighting the stove and had already managed to please Tom. A wounded man comes to them, and Shizuka gives advice on how to be better. The man thought that she was a doctor, and now half the village followed her for advice. Kencho helps an uncle in farming, and notices a lonely, sad girl who has lost her parents. Kencho cheers Anju up and she smiles, forgetting about sadness. Beatrix learns about the production of electricity in the village, the grandmother tells how everything is arranged there, and what is better not to do with the meter. The guys become friends with everyone from the village, the girls notice this, and begin to understand how nice it is in the village. Akira continues to work in the field and Kencho comes to him. Kencho notices Higurashi passing by and remembers him. Having called out to Higurashi, he looked at them irritably and left. He did not like this couple because of their friendship, it seems he came up with something. In the evening Akira comes to his father, who is sitting alone. Akira offers to join Teruo, which he doesn't mind. Akira notices how his father has changed in appearance. He talks about his city life and how he wanted to come to the village. Teruo did not understand how he could live his whole life in the village. Akira asks about his childhood dream. Teruo always dreamed of becoming an astronaut, but he was stupid and didn't. The father makes Akira happy, he finds time with him, and Akira fulfills one more wish. At night, Naoki steals the keys. Taoko turns the electricity on to maximum in the village. Naoki starts the bulldozer that was blocking the tunnel, the zombies are released. Mad Higurashi wants to feed zombies to everyone he hates, namely the entire village. Cheerful villagers notice the approaching zombies, the others also notice them and panic begins. Naoki arrogantly placed himself under the situation. Shizuka was saving the villagers and almost falls into the hands of zombies, she is saved by the villagers. The hunters try to stop the zombies by shooting at them, but immediately retreat. Higurashi mocks people and goes on rampaging with his gang. Kencho ran away saving Anju, Beatrix comes to his aid. All the guys are assembled and they are thinking about how to save the villagers. Kencho decides to check how energized the fence is, but he gets a very strong electric shock. Shizuka helps him. The guys now don't know how to save themselves further. Higurashi calls out to Akira and Kencho. Kencho tries to warn the guy about the danger, but Kencho has already realized that he arranged everything. Higurashi despises the guys and comes up with a wish to fulfill next. Akira notices that he also has a notebook. Higurashi compares his wishes to Akira, and he wants him to become a zombie. Akira doesn't have to do this, so he decides to go save his parents. Anju notices that her dog is missing. The guys also ran to help the village. Kencho notices Anju running and vows to Akira to survive. The villagers are in fear. The zombies are trying to break into them. Akira's father feels worse, but still holds on. Akira holds off the zombies by fighting them with a hoe. Anju finally finds her dog. Kencho catches up with her and covers her from the zombies that were passing nearby. They climb onto the roof for safety, and Shijinobu climbs up to them, not in the best condition, he was ready to throw Kencho off the roof. Beatrix was on her way to turn off the electricity in the village, but Tauko hits her on a tractor, she decides to deal with her with a chainsaw, Beatrix loses her Najinata, Tauko mocks Beatrix's weapon. Shizuka tries to help the villagers who are locked in their houses, they do not want to leave because of their age, so they only want Shizuka to live. Shizuka gets angry and attracts the zombies' attention. Zombies are about to break into Teruo's house, but Akira eliminating them with a hoe, with a great desire to repay her parents. But his father does not force him to do this, he leaves Akira safe and goes to fight in Akira's place. Under a bad flood of memories, the man further pushes Kencho off the roof. Naoki finds Shizuka who has run away, she panics at the sight of him, this guy really wants to kiss Shizuka. While he was working, he caused a lot of trouble, so much so that one day he burned down his restaurant, blaming others for it. Beatrix and Tauko continue to fight, Beatrix fights with a katana, and at the sound of Tauko's chainsaw, zombies come. Remembering her responsible life, she decides to end it quickly. Shijinobu blames his wife for his life, Kencho does not agree with his stubborn opinion, and decides to fall to the zombies along with him. Overcoming fear, Kencho strips naked and dives into the dump. 
Shide Nobu is shocked by what he sees and crashes into the fence under tension. Kencho climbs out of the hole, Anju is wary of Kencho when she sees him. Hikoman wakes up and doesn't understand why the others are sitting idly by while Shizuka saves them, Grandpa lifts the spirits of the others. Shizuka strains Naoki's brain, but he doesn't care at all and he holds the girl, not letting her move. From the tower Hikoman shoots at Naoki's gun, Grandfather very brutally saved her. Unarmed Naoki runs towards Shizuka but is now saved by villagers who recently did not want to fight. Beatrix suddenly begins to talk about the traditions in her country, she manages to confuse Tauko and taking advantage of the zombies, she turns off the electricity in the village. Tauko is stunned by Beatrix's recklessness and is eaten by zombies. Teruo is still heroic to his son, he desperately fights the zombies while sick, yet he is stopped by the pain inside, but Teruo takes Higurashi to the bulldozer. Akira doesn't understand why this is happening, but it was just Higurashi's plan. If Akira doesn't open the door and feed himself to the zombies, Higurashi will throw his father to the zombies. Higurashi had friends in elementary school, but as soon as he reached middle school, everything changed, he despised fun groups where Akira and Kencho were. Higurashi still holds his father captive, Teruo does not want Akira to become a zombie for his sake, he admits that he does not have much time left. Akiko tells Akira about his father's illness, without doctors he will not survive here, Akira hopes that he will find doctors, but his father's words about his goals make him cry, Akira breaks down. Still, Akira opens the door and brings in a zombie, which makes him become one himself. Higurashi is happy with Akira's choice, but Akira comes up to him and lowers him from the bulldozer, it turns out it was just makeup. Akira remembered that Najisa was the makeup artist, and he asked her to do zombie makeup for him, for the sake of the plan, and the zombies that attacked him, were knocked out by the girls. The guys saves Akira father, but Higurashi still cannot accept defeat. Akira cannot understand what Higurashi is trying to achieve, and asks him what he really wanted. Akira's words make Higurashi remember his childhood, which is why he is bitten by a zombie. Akira comes up and hugs the tearful Higurashi, promising that when they meet in the next world, they will go to the pool together. Higurashi runs away on his last journey. While he ran away, he lured zombies and remembered that day, when he really had fun. The guy throws himself into the river, remembering that day for the last time. Kencho and Anju come running to Akira and the others, friends cannot understand what happened to them. The guys gathered the villagers, but they don't know how to run away from the zombies further. In the distance they see Beatrix riding a water mill, and everyone escapes from the zombie, but when they run to the bridge, it is not there. The guys are in complete despair, but at the other end, Grandfather Kumano gives the guys the bridge that he managed to build. Akira and Kencho hold the bridge so that everyone can escape. Saving them, they are the last ones left and at the last moment, they jump to the other end, but they crash into a mountain. As they stooding up, they discuss Higurashi's goals, Kencho considering his action stupid. Teruo picks up Akira, thanking him for saving him. Akira finally paid off his debt to his family. The villagers close the tunnel again and begin to settle nearby. Tom thanks Shizuka for her medical assistance, but Shizuka was not a doctor. Akira is looking after his sick father, Akiko comes to him and begins to tell him how worried Teruo was about Akira. When he left for Tokyo, Akira begins to cry. Akiko says that his father just has hemorrhoids, and because he didn't like hospitals, he drove himself more, Akira is in complete shock. Before leaving, remembering the words of his father, Akira has a grandiose dream to save the world from a pandemic, the guys are happy for the guy, and his father bless his dream. Now the guys decide together what dreams they should write down in the Akira notebook, they are having fun. The day of departure comes, all the residents take care and say goodbye to the guys. Anju cries for Kencho, she runs to him and forces Kencho, when he arrives next time, to show what he promised. Akiko gives food to Akira, Akira says goodbye to his parents, and they leave to conquer the whole of Japan, Akira chooses to go north, like all travelers. While the guys are traveling, everyone who knew them is developing in this cruel world. The guys have finally found freedom, and they are enjoying their journey with great pleasure.